Hi, I'm Steve with It's Tailor Made for Pets. Welcome to the Positively Nutritious Cooking Show, where we show you how to make fun and healthy food for your pets. And today we have a special recipe to show you how easy it can be to cook for your whole family. It is packed with essential nutrients to keep you and your dogs happy and healthy. Let's dive in. On today's recipe, we have four pounds of beef sirloin, eight ounces of fresh green beans, eight ounces of broccoli, eight ounces of carrots, eight ounces of mixed bell peppers, and two and a half ounces of shiitake mushroom. Now these ingredients will be split between the human recipe and the dog recipe. Because human diets differ from dogs' diets, we have separated out the following ingredients. For the human recipe, we will have four cups of jasmine rice, and we will have a nice teriyaki marinade here that has two habaneros, two serrano peppers, a half cup of teriyaki sauce, half an onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and a dash of hot sauce. For the dog's recipe, we have included eight ounces of beef liver, two three and three quarter ounce cans of sardines and water, one ounce of pumpkin seeds, four ounces of strawberries, one teaspoon of turmeric, three ounces of Greek yogurt, three eggs with the shells included, and a pinch of black pepper. Much like you, Dogs weren't designed to eat the same thing every day. By varying their protein sources and all accompanying ingredients, your dog will receive all the protein, vitamins, and minerals required to give them a healthy and full life. Furthermore, receiving their nutrition from a variety of sources can be beneficial for their dietary. We're going to start this recipe by preparing the rice. You will need six total cups of water for the four cups of rice. Three. We use a rice cooker because we found it's the easiest method to cook rice. Now we'll be adding the jasmine rice in. If you have a high energy dog or your vet recommends more carbs for your dog, you can always add this into their recipe. Sirloin steaks are good for you and your dog because they contain vitamin B6, B12, and small amounts of sodium, which are good for nerve and cellular function. We just finished gently cooking this meat. We gently cook it because that preserves the most nutrition. All you really need is a good sear on both sides. We're gonna set this off to the side and do the same with the beef liver. Beef liver is full of phosphorus, iron, copper, and most B vitamins. It also has tryptophan in it, which will reduce your dog's stress and improve serotonin. The liver is gently cooked now. We're gonna put that off to the side to cool down and start the eggs. We've lightly scrambled the eggs now. Eggs are always a good addition to your dog's food because they're high in linoleic acid, vitamin B12, vitamin B2, and a water-soluble source of vitamin A. We've left the eggshells off to the side. Good source of calcium, glucosamine, chondroitin, helps maintain joints. Because our meat was low fat, we have cooked both of the beef and the eggs in olive oil. We're gonna set these eggs off to the side to cool, and we will continue preparing the veg. Next, we'll be preparing the vegetables. We like to prepare our vegetables in a food processor as it seems to be the easiest way for us to do it. You can absolutely cut this all up by hand. Just try to make it so it's in small enough pieces your dogs can't pick it out. Next, we're gonna be starting with the broccoli. Broccoli is high in calcium, iron, and potassium, which aids in the functioning of electrical charges in the heart, nerves, muscles. If your dog is deficient in this critical mineral, you may see that your dog is tired all the time, which is not normal, or they have no desire to eat. Next, we'll be adding the green beans. Green beans are high in vitamin A, B6, C, K. They're high fiber, very low calorie. Very good for humans and dogs. 
Next, we'll be adding in our carrots. Carrots are high in vitamin A, which is good for eye health, a thriving immune system, and a healthy skin and coat. Next, we'll be adding in our strawberries. Strawberries are high in vitamin C and also provide a great flavor for your dog. Next, we'll be putting in our mixed bell peppers. Bell peppers are high in vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B6, lutein, vitamin C, and beta carotene. All right, we finished with our initial vegetables. Next, what we're gonna put in is shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are high in zinc and vitamin D, which helps retain other nutrients like calcium and phosphorus. Next, we'll be adding in the pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds provide a great crunch. They're full of zinc and vitamin E, which is good for the skin and the immune system. Lastly, we'll be adding in the eggshells. Eggshells are high in calcium, chondroitin, and glucosamine. Next, we'll be prepping the human portion of the recipe. We have got our remaining four ounces of broccoli, four ounces of carrots, four ounces of green beans, four ounces of mixed bell peppers, one and a quarter ounces of shiitake mushrooms, we're going to start cooking the vegetables first because they take a little longer to cook than the meat depending on how rare or well done you would like your steak. Next, we're going to prep the marinated sirloin. Remember when working with extremely hot peppers to use gloves. If you choose not to use gloves, remember not to touch any soft flesh, your eyes, your face, or anything else. We're going to take the sirloins out of the bag and cut them into bite-sized pieces. After pulling the sirloins out, we're going to add the rest of the teriyaki marinade into the vegetables to cook. And then we're going to turn this down to low until the meat is prepped. Just a reminder, onion is not safe for your dog. And there's much debate as to whether or not garlic is safe for your dog. So we just err on the side of caution. All right, now I'm going to pull the vegetables out. That way I can cook the meat on its own for a few minutes to make sure that it's all cooked evenly and correctly. And then we'll add the veggies back. Now we're going to add the meat in. I'm going to cook this to a rare or medium rare. Because once I add the vegetables back in, they will cook together for a few minutes. And I want to make sure that the steak is not overcooked. Now that we've lightly cooked the meat, we're going to add the vegetables back in, mix it all together. And then we'll get ready to eat it. We're going to set this off to the side to soak a little bit and to cool. But our dog meat has finally cooled and we're going to get that in the food processor. Next, we're going to add the dog meat and the eggs into the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can just chop this up. Just make sure the pieces are small. Before we get this meal all put together, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for more fun and fresh recipes for your pets. The more our page gets out there, the more healthy recipes we can share. We're going to finish up this recipe by adding in our last few ingredients. First, we're going to add in some sardines. These are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is good for your dog's coat. Cognitive function improves skin conditions and is good for joint pain. Also adds a great smell and flavor to the meal. The dogs may like the smell, your family will not. Next, we're going to add in our Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is high in calcium, protein, and probiotics which is good for your dog's gut health and overall digestive system. All right, the last ingredient we're gonna add is a little bit of turmeric. Turmeric is good for joint pain relief. We're gonna add in also a little bit of black pepper. Black pepper is good for activating the turmeric. We're gonna get this all mixed together. After making tonight's dinner, any leftovers that you have, depending on how many pets you have, freeze in five to seven day portion sizes 
You can defrost them overnight or you can give them to your dog frozen. We recommend that you feed your dog once a day or if you go with twice a day, make sure that you feed them within a six hour window as it helps aid in the digestion of the food. Your portion sizes will be on the screen now. Remember that every dog is different, so your portions may vary from day to day or from dog to dog. We recommend consulting your veterinarian before switching your dog's diet. If your dog has particular allergies or conditions, they may need a different food or a different group of food. Now we're gonna serve this to our family, to our dogs. Stay tuned for more positively nutritious recipes, and until next time, keep cooking with love for your four-legged friends. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. Hey, I'm Steve. I'm Steve. <laughs> Meat slap. <laughs> and for the dog... Am I supposed to say that? Three eggs, the shells will be included. Four ounces of strawberries. Don't breathe in when cutting open the package. All right. Because meat, low fat. K-Shot and an Icon.